Hey everybody, you are tuned in to the Free Matt Podcast. I am the one and only Matt Free Matt. Ooh, yeah. I am usually joined by General Patrick Flynn, my cohort. Cohort in... Conformity, I guess? The corrosion conformity? But, um... Usually, the FreeMap podcast is a libertarian roundtable-style discussion. Um, we are actually going off my notes instead of using an article, and there's, that's not bad. It's in my right hand here. Oh, yeah. This one, actually pretty important. Move on with your life. And you're like, well, what do you mean move on with your life? You say that often. Let's forget pro sports. And you would ask me, why would I bring that up? Pro sports are a marketing and money time suck. It is there now just to brainwash you. And there's some big wigs or billionaires and idiots that own these teams. And they're it's funny because they're going woke trying to make a dollar. And and the thing is, they're becoming less and less popular. And I'm telling you, most of you red-blooded, everyday, you know, the red-blooded, everyday uh, listeners, straight or gay, you don't need to be watching pro sports. You literally could go and play your own sports. You could find a rec league. You could find a pickup game with other gray-beard people with busted knees. And the thing is that you... You're like, well, I'm, I'm hurt, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. There's tons of people that are hurt, that are busy, and they can find time to go like that. And the thing is, you already waste your time watching this crap. The NFL? Football is gayer than ever? I'm like, you're not even telling me to watch football anymore. You're actually wasting my time. The NLB, Major League Baseball, taking a knee to... Uh, whatever you know, cause du jour they have now, and they're playing two national anthems, which doesn't make any sense. You got one national anthem. I don't care who won or not. We're not British. Anyway, the the irony is, you can. I'll keep going. There's a lot of. Uh, there's only a handful of sports that don't have a, a slant to it, and you could drop your notes on the floor. Uh, it's irrelevant now. I mean, it's a waste of your time. And it's one thing if you get involved with a sport and it's actually, you're learning something from it. Like people in martial arts watch uh, mixed martial arts. They learn moves, they'll go to the symposiums, to lessons, to uh, practice, to roll, whatever you want to call it. That's one thing, but I don't know that many people that play football anymore. I don't even know that many people who could be bothered to throw the football to one of their kids. And yeah, I'm going to have to learn how to throw it left-handed. But the thing is, don't BS me and say you don't have time. You have time to do other things you're supposed to be doing. But you're sitting around like a bunch of zombies in front of the TV and you're wondering why your life sucks. It's because you're wasting your time. I don't care if you're a man or a woman. And yeah, there's women I know who don't do crap in their lives and they're home on a Friday or Saturday and, and they spend $1,600 to go watch, you know, the Dirty Birds or something play. It doesn't make a lot of sense. And here's the thing. I honestly think pro sports just bankrupt it. Who cares? You know what's going to happen? They have to get on with their life. Do you think they're going to go out and start robbing people? No. They have to find a life. They have to go learn something to do something. I mean, people don't go and say, we don't have, we don't subsidize, um, you know, amateur sports for me, you know, they'd have an amateur wrestling league and, and hand me money to, to make me happy. Oh, he might go kill somebody. No, no, no. It, we don't need to subsidize this crap. Just get on with your life. This tax schemes, it's stupid. We don't benefit a damn thing. For all these studies, they say you don't benefit anything. Stadiums are a waste. They don't even have uh, gladiators there. It's about the one way they can make tax money back. You know, having politicians fight for the life against a bear. That's what I'm talking about. I just I just don't get it. I'm like, I'm begging you people, just move on with your life and quit this stupid pro sports crap. Well, 
I'm been, I've been with the pets since I was a kid, yo. I'm like, you act like, look, you act like you're not the only one to grow up in the United States or in America or even Great Britain. Like, I've always been a Chelsea fan. I'm like, okay. I was like, what do these dicks really have anything to do with, uh, what do they have to do with your life? Not a whole lot. And you know what? If you're making that your identity and you put another man's name on the back of your shirt like it's normal, it's not. How I know that? I still have a, I still have a Patriots jersey from, from a certain uh, uh, Drew Bledsoe, and the thing is, I'm not Drew Bledsoe. It's actually kind of a cool old jersey, but I don't wear it. I just it's a, it's there. I might sell it someday. But here's the thing: these people have nothing to do with my life. I don't make money off of this. I don't make money off of uh, NFL. It's like why would I give these people my time? Like, couldn't you go screw? Like, to learn some game? Couldn't you go exercise and play football yourself? Could you not, like, learn how to, you know, play one of these sports that has one of those ab abhorrent leagues? They try to brainwash you? Can't you just move on? Just get on with your life. That's it. I was like, you know what's gayer than, gayer than the NFL football? I don't know. They're, apparently, they have a monopoly on, on gayness now. I mean, Major League Baseball, these uh, this uh, breast cancer awareness, everybody wearing pink crap. They go back to hitting the piss out of each other. Oh, well, I miss somebody else. I mean, I haven't caught an NHL game in a while. They probably were doing some crazy crap like that, too. I mean, hell, NASCAR can't even handle door pulls now. I mean, how long till they have people wearing rainbow jumpsuits and acting like a bunch of morons and fruits? Anyway, uh, if you like this, hit like, uh, doo -doo, no, ooh, notification, I think the subscribe button, you know, ding ding is all. If you, uh. If you threw your microphone, you hit uh, subscribe, you hit, oh lord, uh, you throw, uh, throw anything you can too and break your microphone. Let me see, ooh, yeah, Twitter, ooh, uh, website down below, check it out, enjoy yourself, read something, leave a comment, leave a hate email, below that, the hate email address, there's Twitter, there's Gab, I'm not panhandling yet, but I might change my tune in the future. I want to see where it goes. Please take care of yourself. Quit watching NFL or do the Door Pool Racing Net uh, Racing League, and uh, quit crying and get on with your lives. All right, folks. Love yourself.